and we're going to warm up on our backs today. So pull yourself to belly button, head over tailbone and lower yourself all the way down. Let's find our Pilates position even before we go into what our warm up's gonna be today. So <clears throat> belly button to spine. So inhale into your hand <clears throat> and exhale. As you exhale, make sure that you allow the hips to spread, but don't push the lumbar into the back and don't pelvis. So you're gonna get that position. And abs up and under the rib cage. One more time, we're doing this simultaneously, right? And close the rib cage. <clears throat> Wait, lift your glutes up, make sure they walk down the mat. Walk your chest up. Let's start the warm up. The warm up is going to start with the windshield wiper all the way over. No special breathing right now. We're just trying to get the hips warmed up. <clears throat> Great. Slight point in the toe. Don't over affect it because we don't want anything to be hyperextended right now. Nice, now put one leg down, take the other leg and circle it around. In and out, <clears throat> good. We're going four in one direction, and then we're gonna take four in the other. Ooh, that feels good. And lower it down. Now we're gonna take the other one out. Two, good. Three, and four, then take it in. One, good. Two, nice, three, and four. Good job, put the, uh, put the feet back down, make sure they're in front of your knees. Take your hands to cactus, open up the chest, bring your hands together over the front of your face. Right here, you're just closing. Try to close your elbows too so that you open up your shoulders and then take it back out, keeping the hands and elbows on the same plane. Bring it in. <clears throat> Nice. And take it out, holding it above the floor. You're going to reach, feeling the extension of the lats. Good. Now you're going to take both over to one side. Feel that extension. Feels amazing to do this in a supine position, right? Inhale back to center and over to the other side. Good. And you can feel your back even open up and then take your hands right above your chest, lifting toward the ceiling, rotate the palms toward each other. I want you to cross your arms over your, uh, grab your elbow, <clears throat> grab your shoulders in one direction and hold it, move it toward your eyes, feel that stretch and then lower it back to your chest, extend the arms again and fold in the other direction. So that means the other arm is on top. Move it toward your eyes and move it back to your chest. Then you're going to inhale, putting the arms almost to the floor above the head. Exhale, bringing it down. Inhale, back up. <clears throat> exhale, bring it down. And inhale, back up. And exhale, open them to the side. And let's begin our Pilates. So that was a different kind of warm up. It does somewhat the same stuff pulling out of the hips and um, opening the sides of the body. All right, <clears throat> one leg to tabletop, point the foot, left leg to tabletop. Inhale, chin above chest, exhale, bring it all the way up. This is gonna be our warm up, so we're not gonna use the towel or the ball or the block for this one, so down and up, good. Lift and lower, remember in the curl up, keep going. And this is one of the things I want to emphasize. But you're looking through your thighs at all times. And one of the temptations for me, as well as many of you, one of the temptations is to look at your feet. So you really have to kind of think of the curl as a candy cane, keep those legs going, as a candy cane, so that you're always in that lifted over your chest and curl position, right? For some of us, our chest beats our chin. That's because there's a little too much going on here. For others, you have that big wide opening that makes you look like a candy cane. Keep going. <clears throat> Now double time. So I'm not looking at your feet. Coming back to table top each time. Four, three, two, and one. Put those legs at tabletop. Make sure you're in that curl up. When we go into the hundreds, I want you to, every time you do the exhale, 
make sure that you check your curl. All right, keep your legs here if you have back concerns. If you don't, let's take them out. Let's start. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, forty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, sixty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, four, seventy. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, eighty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Let's do the single leg stretch. You leave long one leg where it is. Bring the other one in. Hand on the inside. Hand reaching to the thigh. Your chest stays to the center. You can have your legs straight up or out to the forty-five. Inhale, switch. Exhale. Good. You've got this. Push it out. Make it dynamic. Open up the leg. Good. Keep going. You got ten more sets. And nine. And eight. And seven. Good. Six. Last five. And four. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hug your knees. Good. Now put your feet down and your head down. So we're gonna start with a block. If you don't have a block, you take your towel and you fold it long ways. I'm gonna do a messy version of this. And then fold it uh, several times and then make a little pillow out of it, folding it in half. So you want it at a thickness, right? We're gonna put this between our knees. Right. Well, actually between our thighs because we don't wanna make our knees pressured, right? So when you put it between your thighs, your legs are automatically apart. All right, curl yourself up there at the foot, right here. You're gonna push out and in. Good. Now, this is easily done on the floor. If you, got, if you just can't keep a, a, a curl up or you're just tired and you wanna lie down or you find yourself slipping out of your curl up, this is absolutely great option. You can feel this in this particular exercise. Really, let's talk about it. It's pulling from the transverse abdominal the most. So when you're in your curl of what you're doing, you're adding the abdominus rectus into the system that's moving it. Now, it's not that you're not getting any effects up there. You are. But when you're in the curl up, you can see that it's contracted. It's in flexion. And so you and your back's in extension. And so you're pushing that into the, the program. Okay, let's go back to, I know you're still doing it, I hope so. Right, so we're coming to tabletop, right? Push, you've got to keep those toes pointed. It's easy to forget about the extension of your legs. And again, you're probably wanting to look at your legs. I am, but I'm forcing myself to look at my block or towel or ball, whatever you have there. Come on, let's do 10 more, 10, nine, push, push, eight. So you're still holding seven. So you're getting a little bit of hip and thigh. Six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it out here on one. We're gonna lift to the top. Take it up and one. Lift and two. Lift and three. Lift and four. Lift and five. Lift and six. Seven, let's go for 20. Eight, nice pointed legs, right? Nine, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And now hold it at the top for one. We're going to draw a square. We're gonna take it over, down, across, up, and across. Now, one of the things about the square, keep going, you wanna go past your hips before you lower, take it across past your hips on the other side before you lift it up. So you're taking it across past your hips, down. So what we're doing is we're stretching our hips to one side, and then we're stretching our hips to the other side, bringing it up and across. 
if you have back concerns and this feels hard on your back because you curl up or uh, just lower your legs to 45 and do the same thing. Now back in the center, I don't know where you are. Over, down, across, and up. 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 Now over, stay over there. You have one cheek off the floor. Lift and lower for 10. Nine, good. Your center, uh, chest is still the center, eight. Good. Seven, six, woohoo. Five, four, you've got it. Three, two, and one. Hold it there. Take it across to the other side. And we're going to work backwards. Nice. The other direction. Down, good, and up. Over, down, across. Are you feeling this in your hips yet? So one of the things that might happen is you're starting to feel some ache in your hips. Give yourself some relief by lying down. Don't stop the exercise. What I'd like you to do is just stop uh, focusing on another part of your body. Just take it all the way down and focus on those hips so you get the point of the exercise, right? Across, we're gonna do three more of these. Three, across, good. Two, across. Nice, and one, hold it here, chest to the center. One, good. Two, you've got it. Three, nice job. Four, exhale up. Five, six, You'll, if you let it lower enough, you're gonna feel that grab. Seven, in that transverse abdominal. Eight, but do it without arching your back. Nine, and 10. Now for this last part, I want people with back concerns to keep their legs all the way up. For those without back concerns, I want you to get as low as you can go, a little over your hips. We're gonna go back and forth. Stopping at each side. Good, keeping your upper body either down on the floor or in a solid curl up. Now this is, keep going, this is a harder position to do a solid curl up in because you don't have a reciprocal curl at the other end. You don't have a reciprocal lift. It's kind of like canoe. You can't really get yourself all the way up. So you might be happier all the way down, or you can keep trying that curl up. Good, nice, keep going. Feel it. <sighs> Getting both sides, make sure you stop, 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 four, Three, two, and one. Take those legs straight up again. You can come back to your curl up if you want to, and we're circling. Yeah, we're only 10 minutes in, and already we have figured out, keep going, the hips are the emphasis of today's workout, right? Keep going. Nice, good. But we're gonna add some upper body here pretty soon. Come on, keep breathing. And now reverse it. Nice, good. And this is one of those circles. We're not keeping it inside the hips. We are letting ourselves like move from side to side in this position. <laughs> keep going. And bring it to a close. You're going to put your hands at your side and bring yourself up. Now, this might be a possibility where you need something under your tailbone because we're going to be leaning back. So if you uh, need to take the towel and put it under your tailbone instead of between your legs or in your hands, that's a possibility uh, and, and grab something else. You can actually, on this one, you could grab a book or anything that would uh, help you grip onto it. All right, so we're sitting up nice and tall. We're going to start with the thing, whatever it is, in our hands, and then eventually it's going to get to it. All right, so legs are up. I'm going to push you up and in. So the legs go out, the arms go up. Three, four, come on, five. Now, if this is difficult for you to perch on your tailbone, you can come down onto your hands or onto your elbows or lie all the way down, as long as you're doing the leg position. Good, that's the position that works our transverse abdominal. Good, keep those feet pointing out. 
Nice. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one, and reach forward. Nice job. Now let's put it between our legs. You can put your hands down for this. Take a nice deep breath here. Take your knees up and drop it down and center, down and center. Again, your hands can go off the floor for this, so a little hard to keep the balance, or you can be down on your elbows or down on the floor. Good, down and center, down and center, down, good, down. So this is a soft bend, not a 90 degree bend, so your feet are in front of your knees. Good, so you should feel the pulling from the obliques as you drop the knees to each side and it's still pulling in the center. Keep going. Eight more and center. Good. And center. Seven and seven. Six and six. Five. Five. Four. You've got it. Four. Nice. Three. Three. Keep those feet together as much as possible. Two. One. And one, bring it over to one side, lift and lower. Two, chest stays to the center, three. Again, four, you can be down, five, six. I think it's a little harder on the back to be down, seven. Good, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. One, two. Keep going. Three. You've got it. Four. What do you think, Ruth? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten. Good. Eight. Seven, your front arm is gonna be bent a little, just keep the position, six. So don't try to freak out and make it too long. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put the legs out, reach forward, take your block or tower ball or water bottle and bring yourself back up. We're going down to the side. You knew this was coming. All right, straight down the mat. Lying all the way down. Pulling your feet. Now get yourself into the lock position. So one of the things that happens is we have a tendency to roll forward or have our head forward and not tuck our hip under and have this strong straight line down the mat. So you're reaching your arm out from your shoulder. Make sure that's the first thing that you check. Then all the way down your alignment and take it down. Put it this way. All right. Point both feet. Arm up. Arm in front, you can even have your arm on your waist. You can have your arm wherever you keep yourself in alignment. Whatever helps you keep, I like my arm up because I feel like I'm pulling myself right to the ceiling. Our feet are pointed. You know you're gonna lift and lower, don't you? Lift and one, lift and two. So we're keeping the upper body down, three, keeping those feet from separating, four, five, pointed, six, seven, eight, Remember, we pause on the number nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good job, five, four, perfect, three, two, hold it up here, 20, 19, really hold it, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and lower it down. Relax for a minute. Take a nice deep breath in here. And again, I want you to refuel, get yourself back into position. You take your legs to a, a, a 45 degree angle and back. 
two. You're not going all the way to your waist. You're just coming right out of your hips. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Watch the nine. Watch the bottom knee from rotating down. Ten. Who's going to want to do that? Ten. Because it wants to leave with the quad. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Good job. Five. Four. Nice. Three. Got it. Two. And hold it here on the one. Right here. And now knees to the chest. One. Good. Two. Three. Good. Four. Now questions. Can you come up here to do it? Yes, you can. Five. It's a little harder on your back. Six. But if uh, lying all the way down for some reason doesn't work. Seven. Just modify it in a way that works without taking us out of the exercise. Ten more. Ten. Keep those away. feet side by side. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, last five, and four, three more, and two, and keep it here on one and plant your feet on the floor. We're gonna lift and one. So we're not moving the rest of the body. Two, lift and three, lift and four, lift and five. Lift and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten to go, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. We're in a pulse here, two, five. You keep everything else steady. Four, it's like a double clamshell almost. Three, two, take it back here for a pulse. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and lower down. All right, we're going to try to keep that in there as we come over to our tabletop. There we go. Might need to adjust it. All right, you're in your tabletop and you're gonna push yourself into your downward facing dog. So push yourself all the way up, keeping that in there, pushing your chest toward your thigh. We're going to do our dog to plank for 10 with that instrument in there, that apparatus in there. So push all the way back, come to plank. Hold the plank and it's two. Hold the plank and it's three. Hold the plank and it's four. And hold and five. Hold and six. Hold seven. Make sure it's a clean plank. Nice. Nine, and make sure you end up in your dog. Don't shortcut, because you know you're going down. Hold it here at 10. And I know we've done push-ups today, but let's do a chaturanga. Taking it all the way to the floor. You don't have to hover. Put your elbows at your side. Now, it's gonna be a little bit harder. We're gonna to try to push ourselves up in one Felt swoop. I lead a little bit with my chest, so I'm not there yet, but we're all work in progress. Take it up and all the way down. And two and all the way down. And three and all the way down. Four. Good. 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 Five. So you're trying to get everything to lift at one six. So it's a little aspirational. For some of us, not for all of us, seven. So you're working on that technique. Eight, pushing it all together. Nine, good. And 10, take it back 
and the devil is facing dark. And hold it here. Walk the feet closer together. Now we're going to do bends to the, to the mat and extend one. Bends down, hold it. Two. Bend down, hold it. Three. Bend down, hold it. Four. Bend down, upper part, stay steady. Five. Bend down. Six. Seven. Nine. Eight. Good. Nine. Good. And take your knees all the way down on 10, and we're going to switch around to the other side without letting go. How are we doing with that? Woo! This is quite the challenge. All right, let's tuck those hips under, get the arm long along the line, point those feet. If you need to adjust your apparatus, then do so. Make sure both feet are long. We're going to lift and lower for 20. One, good. Two, three, exhale down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, good job, three, two, and one. Nice. We're going to take it to that 45. One, good job. Two, good. Three, keeping the upper body still. Four, nice. Five, I keep tilting my head forward. Six, I've got to keep aligning it. Seven, eight, nine, keep going. Ten more, good. Ten, nice. Nine, eight, seven, six, good job. Five, keep that belly in. Four, nice. Three, nice. Two, and hold it out here on one. Take a good deep breath here to refuel and knee comes into chest. One, nice. Two, you've got three, four, five, six, seven. We love body alignment, don't we? Eight, good job. Nine, ten more to the chest. Ten, keep them at feet pointed. Nine, eight, seven, six, good job. Five, four, support yourself with your hand if you need to. Three, and two, and one. Hold it here, plant the feet on the floor. All right, lift, and one. This one will have, uh, <clears throat> this one will have a pulse. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, you can feel it right here, five, four, three, two, good, take it back, twenty, nineteen, 18, 17, so funny, 16, you can always tell when I've done this, keep going, 15, because my, um, one of my medicines, my asthma, I think, makes me bruise easily, so I have the mark of the block, <laughs> five, four, in my legs for a while, two, and one, All right, we're coming, you can take the block out, we're coming back onto our backs, Woo! so far, so fun, right, let's put that down for a minute, Let's do some stretches. Let's take our legs out and our arms to cactus and just lift our body through the middle and then let it rest and lift again and let it rest. And you're lifting, you're lifting, and then you're lifting. Not collapse. 
you're letting it go back to neutral. All right, let's bring those legs back in. Take your think, whatever it is, put it back between your legs. You saw this one coming, we're gonna do a pendulum. This one, we're gonna do at 45 degrees. I'm gonna keep my head down. You can go into your curl walk, bring your legs up, put them very close together. You're going to one o'clock, or this is 11 o'clock in the center. 11 o'clock in the center. So center is 12 o'clock. You have to picture, it's not a digital clock, right? <laughs> Five, it's an analog, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now all the way to 10. One, so your hip lifts up a little bit. Two, your pelvis stays center. Three, good job. Four, nice. Five, six, seven. Oh, Bob, I said 45. Eight, I had it at 90. Nine and 10. Make sure you land on both parts. To 9.30, we can't go all the way to nine. So one, you want to feel yourself. Pull it back up with your your obliques too. Three, pull it up. <clears throat> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And hold it here. Now we go to one. One, center, two, make sure you pause, three, this is an opportunity where you can really get a scoop out in that lower belly, four, because you're reaching mostly with your uh, obliques, five, and your pelvis surface, so you can really pull that belly down, six, seven, eight, don't be like me, keep your feet above your knees, nine, ten. Now to two o'clock. One, pull it up. Two, come on, feel that effort. Three, right through those obliques. Four, and we feel a little bit of our hips. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 2.30, one, pull it up, two. Now, one of the things you don't wanna do is lose the shape of your leg, three. So when your leg goes over, don't bend it more, four. Keep it in that open V position, five, six. Palms to the ceiling so you don't brace, seven, eight, nine, reach it, and 10 and bring it back to the center. Go to one o'clock and then to 11. One and 11. One and 11. Now we feel this in every part of our abs. And 11. One and 11. Five more. One and 11. Four more. One. And 11, three more. One, and 11, two more. One, and 11. That's one of us going to go the mat. Let's take it to the next position. Take a 10 to two, to 10, to two, to 10, to two, to 10. To two, that's where you feel the pull in your hips. Ten to two, to ten to two, to ten to two, ten to two, four more, ten to two, three more, ten to two. And last one, 10 to two. Okay, back to the center. Let's go over to 2.30. 2.30 to 9.30. To 2.30 to 9.30. Swing down again. 2.30 to 9.30. 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 2.30 to
2.30 to 9.30 to 2.30 to 9.30. Ouch. 2.30, I think we might have to stretch our hips to 9.30 to 2.30 to 9.30 2.30 to 9.30. Two more, I think. 2.30. To 9.30 and 2.30 to 9.30. Then bring it back to the center. Take it out, put the knees together, and the hips apart. Let's see, we have time for one more. We do. So excited. Take a nice deep breath here. Let's just put one leg up on one of the other legs and put it up into a hip stretch. Lower it down and then switch this just a little quick break. Excuse me, someone's crossing my map. All right, let's put it back. Oh my God. We're gonna do modified teaser with this. And that's what you've been dying to do all day. Put your arms overhead to put those legs to tabletop right here. You're gonna curl up. Now this is gonna be super challenging because you can't access your hamstrings that much with it between your legs. So you've gotta really dig into that belly as you bring it up. And oops, there we go. Lift those legs and hold it right there. Now, watch those shoulders. Make sure that they're not up by your ears, right? Point those toes and then roll yourself back down and come into tabletop, all right? So I just waited too long on that curl up. So let's make sure we do it a little bit faster. So inhale, then exhale and push it up, all right? Inhale, exhale. There we go. And you can do it. Exhale and hold it. Good. Inhale, exhale, bring it back. Let's do it again. Inhale, exhale. There we go. I got to get that inhale and exhale closer together and bring it back down. Let's try it long leg. You can stay with modified leg. It's entirely up to you. But we're trying to dying to see if this can happen, right? Inhale, exhale. Yes, you can. Here we go. And lower it down. Let's do one more. Inhale, exhale, good, and hold it. Drop your shoulder and bring your knees in, cross them, get that baby out of there, Ooh, and come onto your side. Well, I didn't have an idea for class until like five minutes before, and then I fell in love with the idea that I had. Hope you liked it too. Put your hands in front of you, and then circle them around and open your chest to the ceiling. Drop your shoulder blades down as much as you can. Scoot those knees up as much as you can. Get that nice final twist. Bring your arm around, lengthen your legs, come up onto your elbows, and take the hand, the leg behind, and hold it right there. Just get a nice stretch in the quad, and then bring your knee to your head and get a stretch in the hamstring and then drop it in front of your foot. Take the other foot behind and rotate around to your spinal twist. Big inhale and exhale and turn, lift yourself up, shoulder and shoulder socket, head and shoulders track. Good, inhale to prepare. Exhale, bring it back to center. Up a little bit. This knee that's in front, take, it behind, take the other one behind you. Now you're gonna stay on your pause for the first part of this right here, hips facing downward, and then down to your elbows. Get that nice hip stretch. And curl yourself up. Let's go on our other side. I'm gonna do that again. Scoot those knees up to your chest. You're gonna swing the arm around, open your chest to the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath, get those shoulders down and get those knees scooted up. You wanna feel the back of the curl. That's your goal with putting those knees up. Good. Get into it. Bring it around and bring yourself up onto your elbow. The feet, foot comes behind the knee. Quad stretch, 
and then knee to the head, right hand strong stretch. Drop it down, we're going into our spinal twist, bend the knee behind and come around into front. Up, make sure your head and shoulders strap. You wanna create tension as you curl around, but you get on both sit bones. Inhale and exhale. Right. Inhale to prepare, come back to the front and the back leg becomes the front of the kitchen. So make sure you don't do the same leg twice. Don't get real back here inside the camera. All right. Hips are facing down. Hips are facing down. Good. Keep your foot is flat. Keep yourself high up on your uh, paws. And come down to your elbows. And bring yourself to center, the bottom of the feet together. We have our butterfly and we're just gonna stretch forward, chest forward. So this is again, back and hips. I have a lot of uh, my equipment out today. Now we need to get those sides. So let's open the legs, perch yourself on your sit bones, whatever way you can, drop your shoulder blades. Let's do our ear first, grab your ear, bottom of it, take it to the side, make sure you're tracking over your shoulders and your torso. Look down into your underarm, back of that neck, that feels really groovy, and then back to the side. Center, let's go over to the other side. Again, bottom of the ear, make sure you're tracking shoulders back. And then look down into your armpit. That really feels good when we do that look, doesn't it? Look like something new is being stretched, go back to the scaling, back to the center and get those shoulders back. All right, we're gonna inhale up and exhale behind our leg so that we get the side, true side, so our elbow and ear are in alignment, right? Yeah, that's great. Good. And inhale the other arm out and rotate, and lower it down to your chest, your chest to your thigh. Don't let the other leg flop over. That one stays lifted and lower your head. And then back to the side, up into stretches now. Up and over, make sure you always make sure, oops, to the back, make sure your bottom arm is always soft. So we're not on the leg, we're on the trunk, right? The leg is forward, the trunk is centered. And then both arms up and now we come down. Slide your hands to open both sides and chest to the center. Soften your arms so that you get a lot more uh, extension. Hands under the eyes and go to long, long back. Walk it in, walk it in, walk it in, walk it in, walk it in. Drop the shoulder blades, bring your legs together, bounce them out. Let's have a nice, Comfortable seated position, it's comfortable butt lifted, belly button to the spine, all that stuff still in action. Ooh, breathe it up. And down, two more up. And down, and last time up. And down, thank you for coming to Pilates.